And we're back. So, uh, yeah. Not entirely sure what happened there. But uh, caught it right away. So, yeah. Um, okay, here we go. Um, Jack Kilmer voices Mad Mardigan in this show. And he is the youngest child of... Uh, um, Val Kilmer and Joanne Whaley. He was born in 95, 27 years old. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that fits around, about, you know, roughly what Val Kilmer was when he made the, the movie. So I think that's what they're, they're going for there. And he does sound like just, I, I, I was like, how did they do this? Cause like, you know, I, I don't want to be disrespectful, but I hear, um, the way he, yeah, he's apparently not, the, his voice is not what, um, yeah, I, I, you know, Val Kilmer is not doing so great these days, sadly. Um, let's see. Right, I really appreciate that the, the you know, I guess I'll just call it nourishment, uh, since that's what, you know, that, that is what it is. It is the, the, okay, it is the worm's nourishment for the, so that the harbinger can, yeah, okay. You know, I really appreciate it. It's this nasty goop, like, it looks like orange juice that, like, has, has, like, changed, like, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's really, really awful looking, and, and that's, yeah. Yeah, and, and that was, you know, the Mines of Skellen, the, the trolls were making, or, or making, uh, they were, they were harvesting, I think it was, you know, so they also, you know, they want, let's see, so the nourishment, yeah, yeah, you know, they are, they are slowly getting towards fascism, whilst the crone wants to get, you know, she kidnaps for, for, to, to get there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and, you know, Kit is also stoned, and Elora sees the stoned as if they weren't stoned. Let's see, and... I know some people are going to say, oh, you know, it's cringe or whatever, you know, I really liked, you know, Elora is like, you and, not, you know, you and, ah, crap, I'm not good at remembering lines so shortly, anyway, um, yeah, to, to the, the, to Eric and the crone, she's like, you and the worm and isn't that, are not going to make me do something that I don't, you know, that is, that is a message that we need, because, you know, it, it, some conservatives are not, you know, so, some conservatives apparently think that's ridiculous, because, you know, oh, who's trying to make, well, other, you know, ex extremist, can, you know, yeah, more extreme conservatives are trying to, to make women behave in, in a certain way, now, let's see. Yeah, and, you know, another message to take from this is that evil, when, when evil is in control, they make certain, you know, they make rules that hurt those that are not in, you know, in their in-group. Uh, let's see, and, you know, Willow makes a really cool return, and let's see. Yeah, and you know the the, the um, we have the message that love requires sacrifice, and yeah, so I really I'm not a fan of making evil. Let's go with conventionally unattractive in the fiction that you know that's just not that's really not what we need. Um, we we need empathy for people who are not conventionally attractive, um, but. You know, ultimately, I'm, I'm, I wish I was more surprised. Um, and, and, you know, uh, obviously this is not the first episode to do that. They've done that since the first episode of this season series. Uh, let's see. Um, the CG on the, the crone is not 
absolutely amazing. I don't blame them for not doing it practically. Um, among other things, there's like slime dripping down. I don't blame anyone for not wanting to deal with it. You know, there's a... Um, uh, yeah, that's not a spoiler. Um, there's a... There's a... Sp uh, is that a spoiler? Okay, I will make it vague and say that... Um, yeah, so when James Cameron was making Aliens, uh, you know, one, at least one of the actors is has has slime applied to them, and um, I think it was on the commentary track that I learned that apparently, you know, at, at one point, like the actor turned to face the the um, the special effects person who was you know applying the slime, you know, uh, like gobs of it or painting it or some some nasty, you know. And she just, she, she looked right at him and said, I don't think you should be able to do this pe to people. You know, it shouldn't be legal to do this, so something like that, you know. Um, and he does then follow it up by saying, ah, oh, she, she was a real trooper, though. She wasn't a big problem for them. But, yeah, I don't think anybody should have to, to wear slime in... in I, I don't speak from personal experience uh, as, as having worn slime, but I did work on, on one shoot where um, they had to be sprayed with... I want to say it was just a mixture of, like, water and sugar, so you wouldn't think, you know, oh, it's water and sugar, whatever, you know, because it looks like sweat. That looks like sweat on camera. And, yeah, they were in scenes where they had to be sweaty, but you don't really want the actor to work up a sweat because then they're just a mess for the rest of the scene. It's easier to have them pretend to be, you know, have worked up a sweat and, and put fake sweat on them. Several of them really hated it, and I don't like, you know, yeah, it is, like, yeah, you can, you can test that out yourself. Mix a little sugar and water, it's, like, sticky and, and nasty, it's just, it's unpleasant, you know, so I don't blame them for, yeah. Uh, I really appreciate Borman, um, I guess he relinquishes, he relinquishes his main character syndrome. Uh, he agrees that Kit is the, the real hero here and yeah you know at the end of the day that is what's going on here uh, you know when when she hears that you know she's never been on an adventure and when she hears that she would have to go to the single most dangerous place known to their people she doesn't even hesitate she's like yeah i'm gonna go and and free you know get get my brother back Let's see, right, I, I didn't write it down, but I kind of like the this bit, of, you know, I don't think you should, uh, let's see, I think it's, yeah, I don't think you should marry, marry my brother, because he's evil, or because he's naive, yeah, <laughs> yeah, let's see, and, and we get some of the, yeah, siblings are not always great to each other, so, so she tricked him into drinking a lot of vinegar, that's, yeah, and let's see. Yeah, uh, I like the magic duel between Elora and the Crone. Very, very like the, for for that the effects actually look uh, look good. Um, and the, the the yeah the individual magic attacks, not not the Crones. Yeah. Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah, and and Willow fights some others also using magic and Eric. Kit and Jade, you know, right, I, actually, yeah, right before they start fighting. Uh, let's see, I think it's that, yeah, Kit is like, I don't want to hurt you, you're my brother. And then he says, I'm your king, and then Jade says, this conversation's over. And then they start fighting, and that's, yeah. Uh, young women should not accept er, women in general should not accept men trying to rule them let's see and yeah uh, Elora starts winning and the crone tells Eric you are the harbinger you are ready to rule which you know let's see that's yeah it's it is again the the um yeah, I'm repeating myself. Anyway, uh, yeah, and and Kit with the armor that was also that uh, I think the effects on that were also quite good, and that was really really cool. And and she has like this this um, 
uh, I, I guess it's not a wrist blade because it's above, but, but yeah, like, you know, that was really, really cool. Um, let's see, yeah, and, uh, yeah, she, yeah, yeah, we have women saving other women from men who want power over them, love to see it, and, yeah, really, really cool fight between, uh, Eric and, and Kit, just so, so cool. Yeah, and apparently, uh, apparently you need two blades to take on Eric, because first, it's Jade and Kit together, and then it's only Kit, but she has two blades, so yeah. Let's see. Uh, right, right, yeah. Um, um, so yeah, women saving other women from men who want power over them, but not all men who do want power over women are a, a complete lost cause. You know, you can try to, you know, make them better. And I like the line, you I know you feel alone, but you aren't. And Yeah, you know, the 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 fight is over and you know Willow's like I I forget I think he says something like, uh, you're you're back to your old self. Thanks. Who are you? <laughs> yeah. Old Eric, who dis? And cause cause yeah, like if you think back, he never they, they never met. On, on camera, at least. Yeah, yeah, because cause, um, when Elora was a child, the, the, um, was it? I guess when Elora was a really small child and, and Willow came, t no, yeah, Willow only met Elora, because she, that was the first time she met him, and he didn't meet Kit and, so I'm, I'm not 100% sure if, if Kit and, and Eric are, as old, or, uh, uh, yeah, they obviously couldn't be older, because Elora was a baby in the first movie, and Kit and Eric hadn't been born yet, um, but yeah, I guess later it was this, Any, anyway, yeah, uh, Eric has not met Willow before, um, yeah, and, you know, they think that Graydon died, but we later see that he didn't actually... Um, let's see. And and they do say he will not be forgotten, which I really appreciate. And that's also something that, you know, the, um, okay, so this is going to sound, I want to start by saying I don't, I don't judge and begrudge young people, that was not meant to rhyme, uh, for not paying as much attention to you know, older things, people who have died long ago and, and this kind of thing. But that is something that is, it's it's important to engender to, to young people. You know, people who died, you know, a number of them did incredible things. And it's important that we know those things so that we, you know, for, for one thing, any... You know, th things you know that have happened before you, before you were born, or so far, so long ago that you barely remember it, or that, that kind of thing. You know, it helped shape the world the way it is today. And the bad of it, you want to combat and avoid repeating. The good of it, you want to be inspired by. It's not always something that needs repeating, or even can be repeated, but, you know, yeah, uh, um... Yes, that is. And, yeah, uh, Graydon sees an evil Elora, and, you know, she says, I want you to be by my side. And, yeah, you know, yeah, ev evidently they thought that there would be a season two or a film, and, you know, I guess Graydon would be evil. And, you know, at first I was like, I mean, they're not just going to have the, the Fellowship go to Immemorial City and free him, too, because that would just be the first season over. But, you know, maybe if he... Is it possible he's the Harbinger? Um, you know, maybe not the first choice Harbinger, but, but yeah, you know. And maybe he becomes a warlord, and he goes around conquering, and we have, like, armies, because that was something that people really wanted to be in this season. And it is, like, why is... <clears throat> I'm, I Maybe they did say... 
but I get being frustrated that there wasn't really an army of, of the good guys trying to save Eric in this when it's like now that you have you know he's the he's the prince you can send the entire army to to protect him you know it was different in the movie where the the only people who know about Elor like uh let's see there's a th oh wait actually yeah yeah it, you know by the end of it they have you know the army is helping them um and that's yeah you you have um because at the start the the good guy army doesn't know about Elora yet you know and then he becomes aware of it and then the army helps out but here they sh they should be able to have an army and you know yeah maybe in a, a second season you know they could have battle you know uh lord of the rings style battles um if there was a budget for that if there wasn't enough interest you know I, I feel like that's what they're teeing up and to prove that i'm not completely talking out of my ass they do show this big army of i forget if it's an army but like strong forces behind elora you know i was i was focusing on her so but but yeah there was definitely some stuff there and yes yeah, some, some creatures fighting on their side as well so yeah i could i could see how that could be and they do say you know the okay so uh the worm is definitely furious with us now you know so yeah a second season maybe instead of kidnapping one person and possessing a couple of people maybe the worm starts sending armies around yeah, yeah, because you and you could have like you know he's going to try to conquer so much of this world that the the um let's see he's going to try to conquer so much of this world that eventually he will have so many uh, um there will be so many uh, people fighting for him that he can take uh I I already Tirislin I think it's called you know um yeah and they could have this thing of like you know well yeah actually i guess now that the crone is dead i'm not sure anyone can get past you know yeah get past the the big uh, uh, force field that's another thing they would have to get past the force field maybe as he's conquering he's getting more and more magic knowledge and he eventually might be able to break through the the con and then you can have it have the season be they're trying to conquer back for you know free release the, the you know but by the end he has gotten enough magic he has enough forces so like the finale is this massive battle between those forces and then the the good guys and you know some of maybe uh maybe uh jade is now a general kind of, or uh, yeah yeah that was basically what she was eventually going to become wasn't it and and you know these these th yeah that's actually we don't know yet if the the actually yeah it, is that the implication that that jade and kit are going to be with the bone ribs because because essentially you know sorsha has a son you know it's not now that he's back they don't have to have two you know although yeah i get See, that's also a thing. Now that Graydon is gone, does that mean that there isn't an alliance? Because they were like, oh, yeah, we'll get an alliance when Graydon marries Kit. And now Graydon is dead. And, you know, I realize there are worse things to be married to than a dead guy. But still, you know, it's not great. Um, yeah. I'm, what I'm saying is, I could definitely see how they could do a season two or a movie. Yeah, you know what? A movie might make a a ton of sense because they could, you know, they could hit the ground running. He's he's starting to conquer, and then it ends with this big battle. That that could definitely, but but yeah, um, we might not get it right now. It has not, you know, it hasn't been confirmed at least, and it seems like you know because. We knew by the end of season one of Loki and of, what's it called again, um, What If, we knew that there would be at least one more season. Um, and now this has ended, and this, you know, I'll, I'll Google it real quick again, but there is, oh, come on, there we go. And 
Google. There we go. Um, let's see. So, so yeah. Um, there's not really any. Okay, so the most recent was uh, so six days ago, and it just says um, currently no official confirmation. Um, so, so yeah. I'm 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 not currently I'm I'm not expecting uh, a second season, um, but but yeah, uh, I feel like they did a, a good job wrapping up. You know, they they the major conflicts were uh, resolved. You know, Eric is back, and he's even he's he he's he's headed back to Tyrus Lean, and he's his old self. Now, but, but yeah, uh, you know, a bunch of people didn't like it. And I'm not saying that everyone who didn't like it is, you know, homophobic. Um, a number of them are, but I, I don't know if, you know, it's entirely possible that they are still the minority. I don't know. Um, some, some, some people just didn't like the style of the show, and that is, like... For sure, if you don't like the style, I I love the style. Um, I could totally see if I if I thought it was annoying, I would have struggled to get through this show because it is very much. It's it's drenched in that style. So uh, yeah, I think that's everything. Um, yeah, I I not the biggest fan of the movie, but I did find it an interesting world and I think this expanded on it interestingly I thought this was a satisfying sequel I'm really glad they didn't just try to make a movie um I really feel like this earned the eight episodes there's no filler there's nothing is just you know yeah um I don't know how they because you know almost all of the the MCU shows it's you know six episodes and it's like that's not enough that's just not going to be enough and it's hasn't been enough in a single time i don't think all of them would have been better if they had just a little bit more you know maybe eight episodes for example so yeah i don't know maybe this will help them them see that you know mcu shows should be more than six episodes from from now on um fingers crossed and yeah, uh, I'll probably try to record the review itself pretty soon. So, yeah, um, that's it for this one. Um, yeah, next show, next current show will, you know, I've, I've, I'm not one hundred percent certain, but one of the one of the live action Star Wars shows or one of the MCU. Disney Plus shows will be the next that I cover. So, let's see. I probably will do... There's, there's going to be at least one more video this week. Possibly two. We'll see how it works out. But uh, uh, Other than the review for, of this show, is what I'm saying. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching, as I enjoyed watching and recording. And I will catch you next time.